Hi, my name is Diana. I'm a plant-based chef and I'm here at the Cocos today to show you how to make baguette. For that, I've already measured my flour. This is an all-purpose flour. Of course, you could change it into another flour style. Like, for example, if you want to add a little bit of rye or a little bit of um, a whole grain, you can do that. But that will change the recipe a little bit. You would need a little bit more water. But then, of course, it's not a traditional French rustic baguette. So here's my water. This is salt. I have my fresh yeast. Make sure that uh, your water is uh, not cold because the yeast likes it when it's warm. So what I'm doing, I measured it. I just pour a little bit of the water in here. On one hand, I'm putting the yeast. And on the other hand, I'm putting the salt. And now make sure that the salt dissolves in, in the water and the yeast dissolves before you're pouring it into the flour. So why am I doing this? If I put in the salt and if I'm not netting correctly or not taking, you know, too much care about the incorporation, it's harder. Then you have like pieces which are more salty, less salty. So this is why I'm dissolving it up front. Why am I not doing it together? Well, if you put yeast and salt together, it will kind of kill it. If you dissolve it up front, it's no problem. And I'm taking my bowl, pouring the water with the yeast, mix it a little bit and the salt. Then I'm just mixing it with a spoon. You can do it with your hand later on. It's easier and much cleaner if you do it like this. Of course, you can do it in a kitchen machine, but for that small amount, I really like to do it by hand. So, and for the last step, I'm just taking it out. And net the last by hand. So I'm taking this part of my hand and I'm trying to stretch the dough, which already uh, gives a gluten structure. So more strength and stability. Make sure that you're taking everything from your table. And um, no worries, this is half the recipe of the dough. So when you follow the whole recipe, which will be um, underneath um, the video, it will be the double amount. But right now I'm just showing you it for one baguette, one big baguette or two small ones. So that was it. Then I'm taking a bowl. I slightly grease it with a little bit of oil of oil or another oil. Then I'm putting it in here. Let it at room temperature for approximately half an hour, an hour. Cover it with a towel. And then I'm doing one first stretch. And then I'm putting it into the refrigerator for approximately two to two and a half days. I will show you later on how to stretch the dough. You see it's quite compact right now. You have the impression of, is this really becoming a dough? It will. You will see it becomes much smoother after stretching. So during these two, two and a half days, I'm, I'm going to stretch it two to three times. So now we're about to shape the baguette into its baguette-like shape. And I'm very excited to do that because I've never done it before. So Diana, could you please show me how to form the baguette? Yes. how to make it look beautiful. Perfect, I will hopefully. And um, this is why I took um, my, uh, my help here in order to show you guys that you are able to do it at home without practicing it uh, before. And it will be the first time you will do it. So let's see how he's um, dealing with it. So this is our dough. We have prepared um, the poolish up front, our, the whole dough. And this is how the dough looks like um, after 50 to 60 hours. So it's approximately two and a half days in the fridge. And you see, it's really nice and bubbly. I'm having flour and I'm going to dust my um, work table. So I'm getting out the whole dough. And the amount in the recipe is actually for two big baguettes. Of course, you can do for um, smaller baguettes. It's up to you. So what I'm doing right now, it's just dividing it into two. Yes, you could measure it depending, but I do it with my eye. I think that's fine. So that's the dough 
which Samuel will stretch. So make sure to have more flour on the table. How much flour should you have on the table? Should it be a lot or just a little bit? Just a little bit, because you don't want to uh, overpower it with the flour. So what I'm doing is taking the dough, stretching it to the side, taking the sides in, I kind of form it to a rectangular. You see this? Mm -hmm. What I'm doing now, I'm taking half of the top, folding it into the middle, pressing it, do the same on the other side, and we already have like this nice rectangular shape. So you see, I have to press a little bit because there are a lot of bubbles. I have something to prove the baguette, but I will show you another technique later on. Just make sure you have it ready. Put some baking paper on top. And now I am need a little bit more flour. I'm forming it. into the spaghetti shape. How long should it be? Is there a certain length? No, it's really depending on how long you want to have it. And now I'm sitting it mm. in here. Why do I'm doing it? It's um, just the reason to have um, the baguette stay in its shape. What you could do if you don't have this at home, it's no problem. You just take a regular towel, put flour on top of it, then lay the baguette in and then fold it like this, have the second baguette laid in there and fold it so it will stay in its shape. But we have this nice um, form and that's it. And Samuel will do the, do the rest. So I put a little bit more flour. It's a little sticky on a, on a wooden um, table so it will be easier maybe on your work surface at home in the kitchen. Okay, so I take the dough yep. and I place it on the flour first, yep. right? Exactly. And now I start with the sides, yeah. folding them into the middle. Yeah, make a rectangular. Sit. Now you're making almost a bowl. <laughs> Try to stretch it a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. And then, you know, just form it. Okay, so I try to make the rectangular first. Yeah. Is that enough or should I fold no, it No, that's in? fine. Okay, that's and now fine. what I do is I take one side. Yeah. And I... Uh, yeah, put press it to it. the middle yeah. and press it down here. Exactly. Okay, Wait, it's a bit sticky. Yeah, maybe you need a little bit more flour on your fingertips. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's better. And now the other side is yeah. well, right? Pressing it to the middle. Mm -hmm. And now remember, you need to press out the air a little bit, the mm -hmm. air pockets. Okay, and, and now, I have to admit I almost forgot the next step. No problem, now we're turning it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, yes. Turn it and then you roll it like this mm -hmm. with your hands. You grab it like this, so it's really becoming to this baguette shape. Okay, so I try to just mm -hmm. make it longer a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not applying too much pressure, right? No. How do I make sure that the ends are sort of... You just form them. Okay. And then you just place it. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Pretty easy. And now they need a little rest after all the stretching and working. So I'm just covering it with a towel and leave it for 20 minutes. Well, I think it was not too bad. I think it needs maybe one, two more times of really needing it. Mm -hmm. But I think it's quite easy, right? Yeah. And I can always watch it again and see sure. how it's done. Sure. You too. So Diana, it's around 30 minutes later now. What do we do next? After the baguettes have been proven, you see they're in still in shape. If you want to, reshape a little bit the edges. And uh, we're doing it the French way, so the rustic way. What I'm taking, I'm taking a sieve, a little bit of flour. Should be fully covered the top. Totally cover mm -hmm. it. Second as well. And you say the French way, so there's also the not French way. <laughs> well, if you don't want it to be that rustic, you know, then leave out the flour. Mm -hmm. It's also nice. I like it this way. And then we take a very sharp razor and we make cuts. 
Make sure that you're not cutting this way. You really want long diagonal stripes. And uh, when you take the razor, make sure that you're not cutting in that angle, that you're taking like a 45 degree angle. And then I'm making a long cut three times. Now you see it's quite hard to uh, make the stripes. If you take um, the dough into the refrigerator for about 20 minutes, it will be much easier, but that will be already fine. Do you want to try it? I will try it, yes. Okay, good. Okay. Make sure that you're just using the tip. Ah, just the tip, so just not the, the whole tip. blade. Not the whole okay. blade, just the tip. Is it 45 tip. degrees? Yes. And then I make a strap like this. Two yeah. times or? Yeah, you see, you're not really, you we're holding it like this. Hold it a little bit. Okay. And then you see, it's really opening. Okay, okay. And you can, you know, redo it again. Mm -hmm. So it's approximately two to three millimeter into the dough. Yeah. yeah it's your pre-cut. Nice. Okay, now it's opening more, yes. Yeah, true. All to the end. To the end. Perfect. Okay. That's it. That wasn't that difficult. No, not at all. So we already preheated um, the oven to 230 degrees. Um, the below and top heat. I don't know how you call that in top English. And, top and bottom heat. Top and bottom heat. And uh, we put in the uh, baguettes. And at the same time, I'm having also um, a tray heated in the oven. And I'm, um, I'm going to pour a little bit of water so that we have steam in there. Then we bake it for 20 minutes. Then take out um, the, the whatever container you have. If it is a second sheet or another bowl, take out um, the water let out the steam, close it, turn it down to 200 degrees and bake it around for another 25 minutes. And if you have an older oven, just make sure that you maybe after the first 20 minutes switch the baguettes so that the, um, that the baguette in the, in the end is not becoming too brown. That's uh, a baker's tip because uh, my oven is quite old, so I need to make sure that I'm not burning my baguettes. Okay, so to summarize, the first part is I heat it up, yeah. I add in the tray, yeah. I add it off water, yeah. and then when I put in the baguettes, and after a certain time I take out the tray with the water. After 20 minutes. After 20 so minutes. you okay. put in, in the preheated oven, you put in the baguettes, pour the water, close it. After 20 minutes, take out the tray with the water so mm. that the steam is out, turn it down to 200, degree, 200 degrees, and then bake it for another 20 to 25 minutes, and then you're ready. Perfect. So we have the baguettes now and the bread. Make sure when you take them out of the oven to let them rest on a cooling rack um, to cool down before eating it. Otherwise, if you just leave it on a flat surface, um, there will be steam um, underneath and it will become wet and uh, that we don't want. You don't want that. No, especially not you, right? Yes, <laughs> but I can't wait to try these. They look amazing. And now comes the best part of the day, which is, which is actually eating the food. So we're about to do that. If you haven't, make sure to check out the spread recipes that we have, the butter with tomato and thyme it was, yep. and the white bean spread. They go perfect with this kind of bread. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Please leave a like below this video and see you in the next video. If you're new to Vicoco, we are a vegan online cooking school where you can learn how to cook authentic vegan Italian, vegan German food, raw food and much, much more. We partner with fantastic chefs from all over the world to bring you the best vegan online cooking courses. And you can try all of our courses for free for seven days. Simply head over to vicoco.com, create your free account and you can start learning right away. All of our courses are 100% vegan, 100% delicious and 100% family approved. Sign up today and boost your confidence in the kitchen.